Good evening, my name is Siani. I'm a cybersecurity student at TCP Swiss and Tech Division. In my field, we largely depend on tools that emphasize privacy and security. One of the most attractive tools of that nature is Parrot OS. This presentation will clarify installation and use of the popular operating system. Parrot OS is an open source Linux distribution based on Debian. Parrot can be used for personal use. This includes internet browsing, chat, and application development. However, its primary use is in security. Today I'll be exploring uses for vulnerability assessment and mitigation, penetration testing, and digital forensics. I recommend using a virtual machine to hold the Parrot ISO file. If you haven't already, you can want to visit virtualbox.org to download the virtual machine. Under Platform Packages, you'll choose your preferred operating system. The first step in accessing Parrot is creating a virtual machine that will hold the ISO file. Under Tools, select New. Name the OS Parrot. Select Linux under Type. Select Debian under Version. Click Next. I recommend you allocate 4038GB for storage. Click Next. Create a new hard disk. Select VDI, which stands for Virtual Disk Image. Select Dynamically Allocated. This means that the disk grows with the memory that you put on it. I recommend selecting 64 gigabytes as the file size. Select Create. Moving on. In order to install the Parrot ISO file, you're going to need to visit parrotsec.org slash download. Notice that the latest version automatically pops up. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Mate Security Edition. Select Get Tor. After the file is downloaded, open VirtualBox. The next step is checking the settings to ensure that we have selected two cores for the CPU. I also recommend enabling EFI. This is the preferred form of BIOS firmware. Finally, you'll deselect floppy disk. The next step is crucial to functioning. Click Storage. Under Optical Disk, select Empty. On the far right panel, you'll see a blue disk icon. In the menu. Choose a disk file. Locate the downloaded tort file. Select Start. Moving on, I'd like to double check the settings to ensure that we've selected two cores for the CPU. I recommend enabling EFI. This is the preferred form of firmware. Finally, deselect floppy disk. This step is the most crucial. Select storage. Under optical disk, select empty. On the far right panel, you'll find a blue disk icon. On the menu, 
Select Choose a Disk File. Locate your downloaded torrent file. Select Start. After loading the disk image file, we should be able to load the virtual machine. Inside of Parrot, you'll be asked to enter the language and time zone. I've set up my Parrot OS for the average American. Finally, you'll want to choose your login details. After re-entering that username and password you created, select Applications. Notice that the Tor browser is already pre-installed. After re-entering that username and password, you should be able to view the desktop of ParadoS. ParadoS for security comes with pre-installed features. Under Applications and Internet, you'll see that the Tor browser is already pre-installed. This is the most notable feature as it is the preferred method of accessing the dark web. Under System Tools, you'll see the root terminal, which functions just like the command terminal on the Windows 10 operating system. Under Pen Testing, you'll see relevant applications that allow us to practice vulnerability assessment and mitigation, digital forensics, and pen testing. I recommend that you explore vulnerability analysis, sniffing and spoofing, and digital forensics. We've reached the end of our tutorial. To recap, Parrot OS is Linux-based. As I mentioned, the preferred use is in privacy and security, although there are home options such as internet browsing, chat, and application development. Consider accessing the OS through a virtual machine attached to a USB drive. Thanks for watching, and be very, very careful.